how often can you say, and how important is it to say, that one's on me. That one was on me. Well, if you screw up, they know it before you do. Like, I, I find. I, I, the players are super intelligent now. And, you know, it can be a simple thing as a line change. It can be something in the game happened. They know that you messed it. They know that you, you know, messed up. Don't be afraid to just say. Hey, have you done, Rod, have you guys, have you missed one on the offside? What do you, what do you mean? Well, yeah. like on a, on a video call that went the wrong way. No. And, and, like, see, and I never thought that would ever happen to us, and it happened. And that's one, and we ended up losing the game by a goal. And I, that's to the point you have to walk in and say, that's on us, boys. And you have to eat it for your video coaches. Right. You know what I mean? You have to eat it for, but those are tough ones because, and I, I'm sorry to interrupt, Rob, but, no, no. but those are times when you have to, you have to eat it for the team and, um, and, and, you know, take a little of the burden off them. Uh, exactly. Because the guys know. They know. They know. And, and I, again, I think being a new coach for me, the guys understand that I'm going to make a few mistakes here and there. And I think the worst thing you can do is try to cover it up and try to, you know, like, oh, I knew that. No. Yeah, I messed up. And then <laughs> I think they appreciate honesty, I guess, is, is the end of the day. Mm -hmm. No different than any job, I think. Mm -hmm. I would agree. Absolutely. Um, we talked a little bit about the players today. And so you're always going to come into situations where um, you're going to have to discipline somebody. And as you said, you know, we you can't give them the strap like our parents all did to us. Uh, you can't do what your coaches did to you when you guys were all growing up and playing. Um, you know, I was reading a coaching book with Scotty Bowman, and he always said the one thing I had control over them was ice time. And so when you guys do have to discipline players now, how do you do it? That's a great, great one. I actually have a quick story on that. Um, last year, game seven against Vegas, we're in San Jose. And uh, Barkley Goodrow, who plays for Coop now, uh, I think he turned a puck over, missed an assignment, probably middle of the second period, cost us a goal. And... Uh, I sat him for probably a period, um, put him back out late in the third and then in overtime, and he scored our, our double overtime winner in game seven uh, for us to advance. So, you know, the, the message there is, yes, you have to discipline players at different points for different things, but they have to know that they're going to get another chance to fix it. Um, and they also have to know you know, if you're doing it, uh, if you're sending them out for an entire game, then you've got to sit or your assistant has to sit with them, go through the video and show them what they have to do in order to fix the reason that they're out for the next game. So they have to, they have to know that there's an answer there. You have to show it to them. Here's the answer. And then you have to give them the opportunity to fix it. Uh, those are the two big things I find nowadays. 